I'm going to have this ready. See if we can push it together right there. So we have just made a Propex expansion joint in three inch. Ha <laughs> ha! Dang! These are some wicked tools from Milwaukee. These are Milwaukee's specialized Propex expansion tools for Propex or Upinor Pex A tubing. In today's video, we're gonna go over all of the tools, what they're capable of as far as size and some new features on this new addition to the fleet. Stay tuned. All right, so Propex has been on the scene for a long time. If you're not familiar, it's a Pex A product. It's cold expansion. That's what all these tools are. They're expansion tools. So you're, if you're familiar at all with Pex, you for sure have seen a lot of half inch and three quarter and one inch tubing, right? Now these sizes have been on, you know, residential and commercial jobs for many, many years, decades actually. And I've installed countless miles of uh, PEX tubing in these three sizes right here, half, three quarter, and one. I've done that with these 12 volt ProPex expansion tools. So this is my first one I bought a number of years ago. It's very dirty, the paint is all wore off of it, even some of the rubber grip is gone, but it works like a champ. I prefer the larger batteries, on all of my 12 volt tools, it gives me longer run time and a little upgrade in performance. But with these 12 volt tools, you can even run these super compact batteries. This was the 2432, that's the catalog number. It's an M12 Propex expansion tool, all right? You can see that jaw expanding. You're gonna insert that into the tubing. There's a cone inside of it that is pushing out and expanding the jaw. Very, very easy to understand. You can see it's got a removable expansion head and then there are other sizes. This is half inch. Okay, now from the 2432, they upgraded just a couple years ago and this one is quite the upgrade. Looks identical, right? Except it says fuel on the side. Milwaukee's fuel program is really kind of like their, um, let's say, it's the Mercedes to the Cavalier. I don't know if we should say that in a video like this, but we're going to go with it's quite the upgrade, all right? So this is the 2532 catalog number, 2532. This is the Propex expansion tool. It is M12 fuel. So with a fuel tool, you've got that upgraded motor, you've got upgraded circuitry that's going to get you more power out of the battery, better delivery at the working end of the tool, and longer run time. That is basically the advantages of the M12 fuel or the fuel to the M12 tool. Like I said, identical otherwise, right? They didn't change anything except this tool now has different jaws or different expansion heads and it expands like almost twice as fast. It's crazy how much faster this expands than the original. You're not gonna be able to tell. I don't know. I don't know, half the speed on this one. I don't know, whatever it is. This is an upgrade. It does expand the tubing a lot faster. Now, you are limited with these M12 tools. They're great because they're compact. You can hang them on your hip, your side of your ladder, whatever. They don't weigh a ton and they don't take up a lot of space. But half, three quarter, or three eighths, I guess, half, three quarter, and one inch, and that is it. You're not doing inch and a quarter and up with these tools. If you needed to do inch and a quarter and up, you had to go with the next size tool, which is the original M18. This is the 2632. This is a uh, brushed, M18 expansion tool. So catalog number 2632. It is relatively compact. It's not that much bigger than the M12 to be honest with you. Okay, obviously physical dimensions all around are larger, but this is a well-balanced tool. It's been on the market for a long time. This does have its limitations though. You can start at three eighths and go up to inch and a half. 
Now that was great for a number of years, but then two inch pipe came along and really solved a lot of problems and expanded the uh, areas in which Propex was being used on commercial job sites. That two inch pipe though, required a whole new tool. A very expensive tool, a bigger tool, a more capable tool, and that's this one right here. This is Milwaukee's 2632 Force Logic Propex expansion tool. Now this thing is massive, right? It is huge, it weighs a fair amount, it has some serious componentry inside of it. It is not just a regular uh, expansion tool. This thing is not something you're gonna love holding over your head. It is not something that you're gonna use every single day unless you're piping entire buildings in this stuff, all right? This will start at two inch, do two and a half, and three inch pecs, okay? Look at that. That is a three inch pro pex T from Upinor. This thing is massive, and it takes a massive and super capable tool to put together a fitting system like this. All right, we're gonna do that in a minute, but I wanna talk about the newest member to the Propex expansion game. This is Milwaukee's 2932 catalog number tool. This is a M18 brushless fuel, okay, fuel Propex expansion tool. Now that fuel did a whole lot for this, these two tools right here. When, you, when we went from this, we upgraded to this, we got a more powerful motor. You got the capability to do two inch on the M18 compact kind of platform for expansion tools. And they even upgraded this tool with the one key system. So if you're not familiar with one key, that's a whole different video. We've talked about it on my podcast, Make Trades Great Again. You've seen YouTube videos all over the place. Go over to Milwaukee's site, check out M, or check out the one key system. But really, I wanna talk about this for a minute. Let's, let's um, look at some of the different features. So you've got the capability of doing three eighths on this giant tool all the way up to two inch. Two inch is your max size. That's the size expansion head we've got on here. I've got a um, inch and a quarter, and inch and a half expansion heads right here for this tool. Okay, that's what's gonna come in the kit and then other sizes you're gonna have to special order. But then you've got the, um, the mode selection here. So I, I'm focusing on the sizes for a reason. This tool actually has like two modes that it operates in. It's got inch and a half and smaller, that's this little selector switch right here. When it's up, it says inch and a half and down. And then when I push it down like that, it's two inch for two inch expansion. That's important because what it does is it actually changes the speed in which the piston or that cone is pushing in and, in and out inside of the, uh, the expansion head. So here it is on two inch setting. Relatively slow. Takes a ton of force to expand two inch. Uh, pecs, okay? More force than it does to go inch and a half and down, so I'm gonna flip the switch real quick and then we'll see it expand just a little bit faster. It's noticeable, I guess, but maybe it doesn't translate to video. But in real life, I can tell you, it is considerably faster. All right, we wouldn't want it in that setting if we're doing two inch. And the reason why, it's not about doing it faster, it's about doing it properly. So we need to put it into that lower gear mode so it has more torque, more pressure, more force. Okay, enough about all of this. Let's get into this dog right here. Let's do a three inch joint. You've probably probably seen inch and, or half up through two inch. I, I, I'm guessing you have. But have you seen a three inch? We're gonna do it right now, so stay tuned. All right, so the whole thing about PEX A and the cold expansion is the, the fitting ID is the same size ID as the tubing. So you have to expand the tubing to fit over that fitting. And that's where the tools come in, obviously. So if you didn't know that, 
there you go. I should have maybe cleared that up at the beginning of the video. But here we've got an expansion ring. So this is a this is made out of the same material that the tubing's made out of. All right, um, and we're just going to slide that over the edge of end of this tubing that I've already cut, and I've cut it square with my deep cut bandsaw. Now there's a few stops. There's three stops molded into the end of this, so I can't push it too far on. But I do need to push it all the way on until it hits those stops. Now we've got a piece of tubing and a ring that uh, won't fit onto the fitting yet. I could not possibly in a million years make that work without expanding it. So that's where we're gonna start right now. So this is the force logic um, 2633 and it's gonna, and we're doing three inch Upinor Pro Pex. You ready? So each one of these expansion cycles is about 30 seconds. It goes automatically once that light flashes. If you saw that, um, it's gonna go through its entire cycle. It's gonna retract. This is automatic right now. I'm just holding the tubing uh, stationary because that head, once it retracts, is going, and I press the button again, is going to auto rotate. So you can see the head rotate just a slight amount. So now we're on expansion number two. We've pushed the tubing onto the expansion head a little bit. It's going through its cycle again, 30 seconds at a time. Maybe you go get a cup of coffee if you're real fast. By the time we're done with this, you might be able to drink that coffee. All right, we'll push that on. I'm just pushing, no force. It's just as far as it'll allow it. Got that little bit of rotation on there. That blinking light indicates that I can let go of the trigger. All right, this is not a fast process, folks. Now we're going on number four. I still can't put that onto the fitting. I've got to get this tubing all the way up to the shoulder of that expansion head. Go at it again. It's gonna rotate, I'm gonna hold it in place. Okay, that rotation is, a, is on purpose and very important so that you're not expanding, the tool's not expanding in the exact same spot over and over on the in, interior of the, the ID of the tubing. Okay, that's important because it would create stress or uh, maybe it would, it needs to basically disperse those expansions evenly all the way around the tubing. So we're almost there. Looks like we're gonna get to that shoulder on the next one. Then we're gonna do one or two more expansions. Okay, so if it were very cold out, we could probably get away with one more expansion after it hits the shoulder of the expansion head. But if it were very warm and the tubing would retract faster, we would probably want to do at least two cycles after it hits the expansion head. There we go. Now I'm up against the shoulder. As you can see, the tubing is all the way up against the head there. We'll do one more. Same cycle, same everything. Happens a little bit faster at the very end, but otherwise it is a 30 second or so cycle rate. I'm gonna have this ready. See if we can push it together right there. So we have just made a Propex expansion joint in three inch with six expansion cycles on this M18. 2633 tool. This, my friends, is super significant. Three inch pecs didn't exist just a handful of years ago. It wasn't a tool on the market to do it. There wasn't, uh, you know, all the certifications and, and, you know, fitting systems and support and hanger systems and the fire rating system uh, certifications it needed until just, you know, recently. 
And that is a huge, huge fitting compared to what I do on a regular basis. Half inch, three quarter, and one inch. I mean, come on, check that out. That is huge, super cool, super cool tool. But don't forget, if you need to do your two inch and down, you've got the new M18 fuel model, and this even has the one key too, so. Very cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm just gonna do some more joints if you wanna hang out for a minute. Let's do some two inch. Let's move this oh, big dog out of here. Well, we got some two inch piping right over here. We got a two inch T. Let's check it out. Auto, auto rotating. I'm in the two inch mode there. You can hear the tool do a little more work as it gets further and further into the tubing. A lot faster than that three inch joint. We're at number eight, nine, we'll do 10. Should be able to insert it just like that. There you go, look at that. Now, I can actually move this around, but as this sits, this ring is starting to contract and it's starting to, or retract and starting to push on these barbs on that fitting. Very cool. I can still spin it a little bit, but I bet you I can't move that three inch at all. No, not a chance. That's already, ex that's already retracted. Hey. Let's do a half inch real quick, just so I can just show you the difference at how fast these things operate. Ready? Should do about six or seven. Insert. It's gonna retract pretty fast. It's already getting tight. That was fast, right? Quite a difference, quite a difference in tools capabilities, obviously. Thanks to Milwaukee for providing these tools for this video. Uh, I gotta send these big ones back. The smaller ones are mine. Uh, I don't really have a use for the three inch. It's not the kind of piping you've seen me doing in my videos. Otherwise, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, drop a line over to Milwaukee that you saw us make this and let them know that we sent you if you're gonna buy one of these tools. Have a good day.